what's up guys? I'm just driving home from work and uh, praise the Lord, eh? Good to see y'all. I'm just going to share a little video of a thought I just had as I uh, listen to, uh, I've listened to preaching six, seven hours a day and teaching, preaching, learning. I'm hooked on it. I'm hooked on the truth. I love the truth. When I figured out everyone's lying, been lying to me. Oh, I've been all over the truth like snake on a dog, like hair on a dog. I've been on it. You know, the Bible says that uh, if it were possible, even the very elect would be fooled. And then uh, it hit me today, the uh, if it were possible. So does that mean it's not possible that when you're the elect that you're not going to be fooled because you're uh, the elect and you have the eyes to see and you have the Spirit of God living, the Spirit of God living in you. Oh, praise God. I, I so appreciate the Spirit of God dwelling in me. I, that is the greatest strength and the knowledge of the, the Word of God. But anyway, it says, if it were possible, just a little mind fart. It's a little thing to spur your thinking. So uh, there's that. I love y'all. I'm gonna. Uh, I still got business to take care of today. It's. I mean, we're totally gutting and remodeling one of the rental houses, one of a hundred rental houses, and uh, it's just been busy. We checked some deer hunters out the other day, and the cleaning ladies had to come in. When ain't it busy? You gotta make time for God, folks. But anyway, if it were possible, just think about it. Larry Algy, I'm out.